When I first started at Sega, it was literally an SQL database and a spattering of spreadsheets knocking around people's desks. And that was, that was data at, at Sega Europe. It's come a very long way since then, and my team and a group of developers have built a full data pipeline in, in Amazon Web Services. You know, at the beginning, it was very much, we don't know how players play Sega's games. We, we don't collect any data. So it was, let's just get really basic implementation. When someone turns the game on and someone stops playing the game, let's know that they're doing that. And immediately, the value of the business could tell was enormous because not only do you know how often people are playing a game, you know exactly how long they're playing for. You know the cadence of their play. Are they playing every day, every week? You know in which countries they're playing. You know, oh, for some reason, everyone's playing in China at the moment. Why is that? And, and that's the kind of thing that you wouldn't have known before this basic implementation was introduced. So that was our kind of golden egg. And then from there, we, we thought, well, this has gone really well and people love this data. So it was decided at a kind of strategic business level that this event collection would go into all of Sega's titles and back catalogue so we could at least find this basic information across all Sega's games. MongoDB is the back end to our customer portal platforms at Sega. Yeah. So one of those platforms is called FMFC, which is Football Manager Fan Club. And if you're a big Football Manager fan, really enjoy playing the game, you can sign up for a Football Manager Fan Club account. And within that account, you might get emails, offers, yep. uh, promotions, whatever, to enrich the kind of experience yep. for, for the players of Football Manager. We're, in, we're introducing a kind of customer portal which allows players to see how they're progressing through the game and look at how they've done historically and then potentially even compare how they're doing in a game compared to their friends. MongoDB Atlas has proved to be very flexible in terms of scalability. As of now, it's in a kind of alpha stage with a very small amount of users. However, at launch, that's going to scale up to two, three, four hundred thousand people who are playing Football Manager, logging into their portal to look at their stats and see how they're progressing. And Atlas provides that scalability out of the box. I mean, long term, this is going to go across all Sega's titles. It kind of closes the loop in terms of customer interaction and engagement because not only are you playing the game, but then you have a log of how you play in the game and how you're comparing to your friends and your cohorts. And also key is for the FM FC um, stats, for instance, you'll be able to click a button and share that immediately on social media so people can see, wow, this guy's great at playing football manager, look how many games they've won. And that drives engagement, increases the kind of community element, there's more discussion around football manager, and that's exactly what football manager would like to see, and that's why they're introducing these new features of functionality. We're doing a very similar development with a studio called Amplitude, who are based in Paris. Amplitude are a game development studio. However, they work slightly different to many other studios in that they have a platform that underpins Amplitude called Games Together, which basically means that the community of, of thousands of people who are really into Amplitude titles and engaged with them can go onto this platform and help in the development of the game. Very cool. So they can kind of make decisions in terms of what armies or what units there might be in the next game of Amplitude and have kind of votes on that. They can discuss. That's savvy. That's a good thing to do. Yeah. yeah, well, the aim of that, having such a kind of community engagement within the development process of the game, by default, you would think, and it should create a better title and a more, and when the game gets to release, the people that want to play the game love the game because it's exactly as they wanted it to be because they were involved from the ground up and right at the beginning. So within this Games Together platform, powered by MongoDB, you can now log in and similar to the Football Manager system, you can log in and see stats such as how many armies you've played with, how many battles you've had, how many civilizations you've conquered, and compare yourself against friends and cohorts who, who are involved in that community. Before we were using Mongo, we were using Amazon DynamoDB, but it really lacked the flexibility and we had some quite complex queries that it just wasn't suitable for. But when we first started using Mongo, we had no experience at all with it. We'd had a presentation from the guys at Mongo and they said, this is how you could use it. And we thought, wow, that looks great. But we, we had no internal expertise, which, which at the time was a bit of an issue because we couldn't just jump in and crack on and work with it. So Mongo team came in and spent a couple of weeks with us building up a loose prototype. And after two weeks, we had this almost fully functioning database, which was populating as we wanted, streaming in from Kinesis. And it was almost where we were already at with Dynamo. We still didn't really have the expertise, but, but a, f a few members of staff on our team went for MongoDB training. They're now pretty skilled up in Mongo and have kind of taken where Mongo left us and ran with it really. And now they kind of have this platform, which it, it's, it's completely feature rich and it's where we wanted it to be. 
the key to using Mongo as the solution for us behind these customer platforms is the kind of variation of the schemas of these customer records. So for instance, you know, not every customer has done everything within a game. So some customers within their um, documents will have information on certain civilizations that they played with or certain teams that they've played with in Football Manager that might contain different attributes. And it's that flexibility of schema that made, doc made MongoDB perfect for this as, as a kind of back end to the solution because we didn't have to worry about rigid column names, column types, etc. We could just kind of send in what we knew about a consumer and then work straight with that data and not have to worry about data types, etc. becoming problematic. The other really key thing is that out of the box with Atlas, we had GraphQL API available. So it meant that the web team that are creating these websites or web portals didn't have to think about other technology to setting up a GraphQL endpoint and how that connects to our database and how to make that available. It kind of came out of the box. So it meant that, you know, straight away, as soon as we had this database set up and the data going into it, the web developers could use GraphQL and the queries that we set up and the schemas that we set up to plug into the data and use it immediately. And it is also a scalable service, so that was perfect. That's proved to be a massive bonus.